Hi everyone, let's make some desi style roasted potatoes. Here I have 8 to 9 small potatoes cut in cubes. Boil them in some normal water so they can cook evenly with some salt. This can take up to 8 to 10 minutes. You'll know it's done when you can cut through it. Strain the water out and give them a toss few times just like this. This will rough up the edges giving you a crispy end result. Place them on a grease baking sheet with some olive oil. Add in some red chili powder. coriander powder garlic powder turmeric powder crushed red chili flakes some dried parsley and some salt to taste also you can tweak the spices according to your preference give them a good mix and bake it at 180 degrees celsius for about 30 minutes take it out of the oven and give it a mix and put it back in for another 40 minutes finally add in some grated parmesan and give it a toss and there you have it you can serve them with some freshly chopped coriander leaves hope you like it Hi everyone, here's the recipe to make very easy homemade butter chicken. To start off, marinate your chicken with the ingredients on the screen for at least 30 minutes. Shallow fry the chicken with some butter for 8 to 10 minutes until it gets a good color and set it aside. Now add in your chopped onions to a bigger pan, saute until translucent, add in your crushed ginger garlic and give it a good mix. To this, you can add in your chopped tomatoes and rest of the spices on the screen. You can always adjust your spice levels according to your preference. Add in some water and cashew nuts. Give it a good mix and let it cook with the lid on for a few minutes. Let your masala cool down before blending it into a fine paste. Use a sieve to get a smooth texture. Add an extra one cup of water and strain again. In the same pan, add in butter, masala paste, red chili powder, sugar. Combine well to get a velvety smooth texture. To this, add in your cooked chicken, some dried fenugreek leaves. You'll end up with a beautiful gravy. Just look at that. Top it off with some chopped coriander leaves and cream and enjoy. Hope you like it. Here's how I make better than Taco Bell crunch wrap supremes. Start by dicing one yellow onion and cooking it over medium heat in one tablespoon of oil. Add two pounds ground chuck to the pan and brown the meat. Strain the fat, add the meat back to the pan and mix in the spices. Cook for five minutes, add a half a cup of water, mix well and cook for another five minutes. Set the meat aside and make the cheese sauce. Add 10 ounces of shredded cheese. I'm using Monterey Jack. A tablespoon of cornstarch and toss the cheese in it. Add one 12-ounce can of evaporated milk and cook on medium heat, stirring frequently for five minutes until it becomes a sauce. With the burner off, add five tablespoons of meat to a burrito-sized tortilla, cheese sauce, shredded cheese, a tostada, sour cream, tomatoes, shredded lettuce, a street-sized taco tortilla. Then fold up the edges. Turn the burner on high and toast both sides of your crunch wrap supreme. Leave whole or cut in half. You won't believe how good. Here's how you make Oreo dorayaki or dora cake. You'll need to start by separating the chocolate cookie from the cream filling of 14 Oreo cookies. Add the chocolate wafers to a blender. Then pour in 80 milliliters or one third of a cup of milk and one egg. Blend on high until the mixture is very smooth and chocolatey. Transfer to a bowl. Then mix in baking powder. Once the powder is combined into the batter, cover and let rest for 10 minutes. In the meantime, prepare your filling by adding two large scoops of buttercream frosting to the Oreo filling. Blend the cream and frosting together with your electric mixer until very smooth and creamy. Start heating a nonstick pan over medium-low heat. Don't add any oil or fat to the pan since we want to have a really smooth finish on the outside of the cake. Once a lot of bubbles have formed on top, it's time to flip. Cook for about another minute on the other side, then repeat this for the rest of your batter. To assemble, take a large scoop of the filling and spread it evenly on the underside of one of your cakes. Make sure to leave some space around the edge because next you're going to place the other cake on top and gently press all around the edges to seal it. The best way to serve this is cut in half so you can see the layers of chocolate cake and creamy vanilla filling. Keep the butt on if you don't want to cry. Dice your onion. Chop up your green onions, greens and whites. We don't discriminate around here. Our garlic, minced, minced it real good. Chinese sausage, two eggs, a few splashes of fish sauce. Heat up your oil. Make sure that it's hot. Wait until your onions develop color and a little char. Then add your sausages. Slide everything to the side. 
Then you add your rice. Soy sauce, fish sauce, sriracha. Combine it all together. Chef's kit. Turn your gross frozen french fries into these amazing restaurant style seasoned french fries with this simple recipe. Start with any bag of frozen french fries. Add some olive oil. Season it with garlic salt. Be generous. Add some parsley and paprika. Mix it together and throw it in your air fryer at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. Don't forget to flip halfway through. They come out tasting so good. You have to try it. Hey what's up guys So hari ni kita nak buat ayam goreng pandan Jom kita start Okay first ambil halia sebesar ibu jari 5 ulas bawang putih dengan 2 batang serai Tumbuk-tumbuk-tumbuk And then masukkan setengah keping gula melaka Okay tumbuk lagi And then uh, gaulkan dengan ayam Yang ni aku guna isi ayam lah Lepas tu tambahkan 2 sudu kicap manis 2 sudu sos tiram dengan garam secukupnya Gaul-gaul-gaul And then kita perap sekejap Actually lagi lama lagi sedap lah And then untuk daun pandan ni Kalau perasan dia kat bawah tu keras Kat atas tu lembut kan Yang bahagian keras tu kita tak nak Kita nak yang bahagian lembut je Nanti senang nak gulung Untuk cara gulung ni Aku tak sure lah cara aku ni betul ke tak Tapi macam okey lah Dia yang penting ikatan tu kemas and daun apa daun pandan tu tak bersepah. Okay, kita ambil cukil gigi untuk ketatkan lagi. And then bila dah cantik macam ni kita boleh goreng lah dalam minyak panas. And then bila goreng tu kan bau daun pandan tu keluar. Hmm, wangi sangat. Okay lah selamat berbu. Hey what's up guys. So, hari ni kita nak buat biskut chocolate chips. And jom kita start. Okay first ambil 3 per 4 cawan brown sugar. Setengah cawan gula pasir. Setengah cawan butter yang dah dicairkan. Satu biji telur. Setengah sudu kecil bicarbonate soda. Satu sudu kecil garam. Satu sudu kecil esa vanila. Kacau-kacau-kacau. And then tambahkan satu setengah cawan tepu gandum. Gaul and then finally masukkan chocolate chips. Huh, ok, gaul lagi And then kita letak dalam peti ais Bahagian cila tu Dalam setengah jam And then kita scoop Yang bahagian scoop ni Kalau ajak budak lagi fun lah Ha, happy ya yeah. Awas kau kalau tak menjadi Ha, memang tak menjadi Ok, tak apa Kita bakar pada suhu 180 degree Celsius Ha, selama 12 minit Ok, boleh bawa keluar and makan Actually, hari ni aku nervous sikit lah Sebab ada budak tengah judge Sedap Sedap Muka tak ikhlas ya. <laughs> Hey what's up guys So hari ni kita nak buat Dalgona chocolate milkshake Jom kita start Ok first ambil 3 sudu serbuk koko 3 sudu gula 3 sudu air Dengan 3 sudu whipping cream Lepas tu kita kacau-kacau Yang ni aku pakai tangan Lepas tu lengung Lepas tu aku tukar pakai mesin lah Laju sikit Ok kita whisk sampai lah dia frothy macam ni And then kita blend satu gelas susu segar Dengan ice cream La Cremeria peanut butter <coughs> Ha, ais krim sedap nak makan waktu subuh ke pagi petang siang malam pun tak kisah kat dalam dia sebenarnya ada ais krim peanut butter yang dicampur dengan sos peanut butter ha, gitu lepas tu kita blendkan susu tadi dengan ais krim blend sampai sebati and then kita tuangkan ke dalam cawan yang ni aku tambah ais sikit lah untuk bagi dia ekstra sejuk and then kita letakkan uh, dagona coklat tadi ke atas lepas tu scoop lagi ais krim peanut butter ni ha, satu rumah aku boleh bau peanut butter lepas tu kita bolehlah hidangkan ha, kalau tak ada benda nak buat kat rumah tu bolehlah try ya stay safe everyone selamat mencari Cuba. Dah habis ke belum video ni? Oh belum ada sikit lagi. Ha, dah habis dah. Bye bye. Cooking 15 minute dinner for 15 days. A piece of boneless chicken thigh with the skin on. Add on some pepper, add on some salt, 3 tablespoons of soy sauce, 2 tablespoons of mirror, 2 tablespoons of honey, and 1 tablespoon of fresh ginger. 2 cloves of garlic, mix together, heat up to medium hot, add on some oil, chicken skin side down first. On fire for around 4 minutes. Flip and let it cook on the other side for another 4 minutes. And set aside. Simmer for around 30 seconds. Add back in the chicken. Chicken for around 2 to 3 minutes or until the sauce has reduced. Now look at... Hai sebab aku korang, sorry ni aku nak share cara-cara nak buat cabang ang Ok, mula-mula korang perlukan dalam satu cawan uh, gula perang Kemudian korang bancurkan sikit dengan air Kemudian korang masakkan atas api Biarkan dia jadi macam caramelized sikit Ok, kemudian aku pakai chia seeds ni nak sihat lah kononnya Kemudian uh, aku bancurkan sikit dengan air Bagi dia kembang 
Okey kemudian korang masukkan satu uh, cawan susu segar, dua cawan susu sejat. Okey kemudian korang masukkan tiga sudu besar susu pekat. Okey kemudian korang ambil cincau, korang potongkan dia potong dadu. Potong cincau tak apa jangan perangai macam lan. Ha aku mana nak sebut tiba. Okey kemudian uh, bila dah potong macam dadu tu korang ambil ais, letakkan dalam mangkuk. Kemudian korang letakkan cincau dulu, lepas tu baru letakkan uh, gula merah yang ada cair tadi. Kemudian baru letak uh, biji selasi eh biji selasi pula chia seeds ni. Kalau korang nak pakai biji selasi pun tak apa. Kemudian korang letakkan uh, susu tadi tu. Kemudian selamat mencuba. Thank you.